All right, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing here. Um, I've got a new toy to, to play with. Uh, I typically have only used ZWO cameras, but I'm currently setting up a second astrophotography uh, mount and setup, and um, I decided to, I usually use a mono ZWO 2600 camera. Uh, I decided to go back to a one-shot color uh, for my second setup, at least for now. Uh, and I picked up one of these Player One uh, Poseidon C uh, cameras. Uh, they were on sale from Player One. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and look at this. It's been a couple years since I've used a dedicated one-shot color camera, but um, I'm going to go ahead and get into this and see what we got. Pull this open here. All right, right out of the gate. So, got a USB uh, A to C cable. Uh, maybe too long for what I need, but we'll we'll see if I use it. A little blower. That's nice. I got one of those, but. This one's even smaller than the one I have, so this may go in my travel box. All right, we got our camera wrapped up here in a case. So I'll open that up in a second. I've uh, got a USB uh, B to C cable. And looks like a USB C to USB C, so I, I'm sure I'll be using this. All right, a couple of adjustment screws, a little bit of Velcro, and let's see, what do I have here? I got some adapters, uh, M48 to M48. What else do we have in here? All right, so this one, got an M48 to M48 17.5 millimeter extension. Uh, what do we have in here? Let's see if I can get this open real quick. All right, so I've got a well, if I can get this thing open. I'm trying to see what they put inside of this, but it's a I've got a 20 millimeter extension and then I got something on the inside. So let's see what do we have here. It looks like we got a couple of other adapters down to maybe M42. Keep rotating here. All right, there we go. So here's my M48 20 millimeter. And then, okay, so I got a M42 and a little nose piece adapter down to the 1.25 inch. So let me see if I can take this out. All right, so a little, that's useful, a little adapter down to M48, and then here's my 1.25 nose piece. So I'll add these to my useful box of stuff. All right, let's open this up and take a look. All right. All right, so this is my first dedicated Astro camera that is not from ZWO. And first, first look, this is a, a nice clean uh, shape. It's got the same kind of color I've got on my ZWO cameras, so uh, that'll still look good with everything else I've got in that red tone. Uh, see the Poseidon C Pro. Uh, I've got my power here, so 12 volts, uh, some USB-C. Uh, so looks like I think the main will go to my mini PC and then device. This will probably go out to, uh, this will go out to my guide scope. So 
I'm just going to rotate around here. Uh, it doesn't have the same round shape that my ZWO camera does. We've got a little bit of a, I don't know, is that octagon shape maybe? So you kind of see, see that piece. Now this does have a built-in tilt adapter. Uh, so that might be interesting to use. I don't mess with the tilt too much in my other cameras, but um, again, maybe I'll, I'll do a little bit of looking at that. All right, and I can go ahead and take this off. So cover up our sensor. Let's take a look at that. And there we go. So nice, nice clean sensor there. All right, so to get back focus on on this, you've got to have uh, 55 millimeters. Uh, I think that's standard on a lot of these Astro cameras. So for me, what I'm going to be using, I've got a, a little setup here. Um, let me set this down and I'll show what I'm going to do. All right, so I've got a little collection of adapters here. I've got a Botter uh, lens uh, slider. This is the UFC uh, two inch, which I can put, uh, up. so I can mount a two inch, um, little spacer in there. I can mount a two inch filter and slide that in. So I'll be switching between probably a light pollution filter, and then I've got a narrow band, uh, dual narrow band filter that I'll use for my color camera. Uh, I've got a little spacer in between there, and then I've got a, this is a blue fireball um, M48 manual rotator. So what I'll do, and I'm just gonna go ahead and attach, attach this up here. and snug so now on the camera I've got my filter piece here and then once I attach this to my my scope on this end I can unscrew these uh, little bolts here and that's going to give me manual rotation so eventually I'll get a um, uh, an automated rotator uh, on some of these but for now I still do manual rotation uh, but this will give me my 55 millimeters of back focus from the end of my rotator uh, to the sensor. Um, I did the math earlier. Let me see if I can find what I what I did for that. So uh, I think it's 17.5 from the end of the tilt plate to the sensor. Uh, my Botter filter holder here is about 16. Um, my wrote my manual rotator is 13.5 and then I've got some spacers in here. Um, uh, I forget exactly what I ended up doing, but about, um, close to eight millimeters. So all, all told putting together, this takes me 55 millimeters to get to, uh, that back focus. So. I'll use this and I'll switch between uh, two different refractor telescopes I've got. So I always keep my, my camera set up so I can just pull this part off and I know exactly where to put it on, on the other one. So on first glance, again, really nice, uh, clean looking um, piece of equipment here. Uh, I look forward to getting a, a first go at this. Again, this is my first non-ZWO camera. Um, uh, and it's been, like I said, it's been a couple years since I've used a, a one shot color camera. So we'll, we'll dust this off and hopefully get first light on it here soon, but a uh, pretty cool camera. Looking forward to using it.